finish the look. Hi Hoochies and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can tell from the title, we're finally doing another makeup video. It has been so long since I've done any kind of get ready with me, any kind of makeup video, anything. Okay, so we finally did one. I have to work on the lighting in here, but you know, you'll get the gist, okay? So of course, if you wanna see how to get this look, then you're definitely gonna keep watching. I would like to give a huge shout out to Beauty Bay for sponsoring today's video. Um, all the products I use to create this look are from them today, including their new bronzers, blushes, and highlighters, and their amazing, if I do say so myself, you guys know I'm a huge blush bronzer junkie. Okay, that's my favorite part of my makeup. It pulls me together. It makes me a bad period. If you want to see how I got this look, and then of course, just keep on watching. All right, so we're nice, close, and personal. So you guys can actually see me do my makeup. Now, my wig needs to be reapplied. So don't come for me, okay? I'm not a stylist. She's just looking a little dork. That's all, that's all. Honey just needs a good scrub, but that's not what this video is about. So I haven't done a sit down makeup video in a while. So we're just gonna be doing our makeup. You guys haven't seen me do my makeup in a minute. So that's what we're gonna be doing, my makeup and talking. Cause that's just one thing I'm so good at. So let's just get started. I do wanna mention everything that I'm using in this video is from Beauty Bay. If you guys don't know what Beauty Bay is, it's literally like your one stop shop for all things beauty, okay? They get like 7,000 new products weekly. That's a lot. And included in those 7,000 new products weekly, they also have their own brand, their Beauty Bay brand, which I'm gonna be showing y'all some stuff because girl, they came out with some bronzers, blushes and highlighters. Now like, I, we not there yet, but I just wanna show y'all something. There's so many bronzers and so many of them on camera. First of all, they're gonna look lighter because I look so pale on camera. I look like a white woman. <laughs> but I need y'all to understand the shade range of she ate. But we'll talk about it later. But I do just want to let you guys know that um, all the products I'm using are from Beauty Bay. Shout out to them for sponsoring you, girl. I also want to mention they do have a reward program, too. It's called The Tribe, where you earn points and things, and you can redeem them for rewards. So honestly, you you know what this sound like, girl. Mm -hmm. And they have, like, a lot of, like, different, like, indie brands, in my opinion. I'd be like, indie brands. But, like, all kinds of stuff. So, that's where everything is from in today's video. So, let's just get into it. So, I'm going to be starting with my brows. And I've been doing them. Oh, actually, let me put my hair back so it's not in the way. I've been doing my eyebrows differently. And you guys are going to think I'm crazy. But i seen a girl on TikTok do this. And I've been obsessed. So, I'm taking my brow pencil. This is the BH Cosmetics brow pencil. You guys know I um, used to use this all the time. So, I'm just kind of combing through my brows. And what I'm gonna do, y'all are gonna think I'm crazy. I'm taking lash glue. Yes, lash glue. And I'm gonna put them all in all in my brows. And I'm gonna use this to like hold my brows in place. Now, if you try this at home, girl, let me tell you right now, this stuff is so hard to get out. <laughs> Your eyebrows are gonna be so freaking sticky. I'm not even kidding, but I'm warning you now. But they just look so good, I can't stop. It's like the only thing I found that actually holds my brows in place. Like I like, yeah, I seen a girl on TikTok do this and I was like, wow, I'm gonna do that. And then I started it and I can't stop. But it just makes my brows look so thick, like naturally. I love it, I love it. Okay, um, I'm gonna get my concealer. I'm using the Dose of Colors concealer. Wow, there are so many shadows on my face. Hmm, that's what I get for filming at night. This is in the shade 20 medium tan. I don't know why that took me so long to get out of my mouth. So then I'm taking my flat brush into this concealer, this Dose of Colors concealer. I can tell y'all right now, this concealer, I'm gonna tell you, it oxidized, baby. Ooh, do it oxidize, okay? I'm just gonna use my eyeshadow palette so I can like really see. But I'm just gonna use this to kind of carve out my brow. Now listen, because I got it super thick from the lash glue, I like to like not really fill in a whole, whole lot because girl, my brows will be looking so crazy. So once I got them carved, we're just gonna fill them in. My brow pencil is in the shade, I think it's like dark brown, brunette, medium brown, something like that. Brunette, it'll be linked down below. Um, and I'm just going to fill in like 
in these little gapped areas. That's it. Like, just like that. Okay, maybe a little bit more right here. And on the tail. But that's it. And boom. Perfect. I love this, like, brow routine. I think it is so pretty. Let me know what you guys think. But I'm going to go ahead and take this concealer and put it all over my lids for eyeshadow. The good thing about this Dose of Colors concealer is it's super duper. I'm gonna be using this matte nude palette from Beauty Bay. Remember I told you they have their own products? Y'all, now I know this is a basic palette, but it's so perfect. Like I'm not even trying to be funny. Okay, look at the palette. It's so perfect. I feel like on camera, the camera ain't doing it justice, baby. I'm telling you this palette. <laughs> the hitter okay i'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right here this is called cinnamon and this is going to be our transition color so i am going to be doing my eyeshadow a little darker than normal but that's just because i'm going out it's fall time like this is when you know you do the the sexy dark shadows so trust me when i say that's what we're gonna do. So I'm just using a fluffy brush to build it into my crease and I'm kind of winging it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm winging it just a little bit. You wanna do this to both eyes, obviously. <laughs> Y'all wanna know what's crazy? What happens is I start doing my shadow and I get to this point and I'm like, wow, this is so pretty. I should just stop right here. And it's like, finish the look. I am then going to go into throwback, which is this warmer tone right here. This is gonna go perfect with the dress I'm wearing tonight. And I'm just using a more detailed brush to really focus that in this outer area right here. And again, kind of winging it, not as much as I did the first shade, but just a little bit. I think this is pretty. Then I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna go into a bare necessity. We're gonna pack that on the lid. Oh, okay, bare necessity is there. But I love how bright that is. And then I'm gonna take the first brush and just kind of blend the edges. So it's all together. Like that. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the extremely fun part, my favorite part, face, okay, period. So to start off the face, we're obviously gonna prime. I'm using this Kevin Aquan primer. This honestly reminds me a lot of the Huda Beauty primer, except thinner, which I really like. It feels more lotion-like. Well, let me not even say lotion-like, but more serum-like, whereas the Huda is like super thick. I don't know, I like this went a little bit better but they kind of give me the same feel on the skin this one's a little more silky but you get wood i'm shiny and so i'm just really putting this over all over my face especially where i have a lot of texture time for foundation now tasha put me on okay this is the dose of colors foundation if you guys remember our chit chat get ready with me me and her did she used this foundation first of all tasha's skin always be freaking flawless so i was like great gotta get it it is super duper matte well let me not say super duper matte but it is a matte finish and it does oxidize so be prepared now Aaliyah has been matching her foundation to her skin can you believe it i know crazy so i'm taking my sponge and I'm just gonna blend this out i don't know if it's gonna look too light on camera but you guys see how pale i am yeah it does look a little bit too light on camera, but it's not. It's just that my face is so much lighter. But I've been looking crazy wearing darker foundation, so I just said, screw it. We're just gonna, you know, match it to my face and go from there. Okay, so once all that is blended in and I look like these, I'm gonna do my concealer. Same one we used earlier. Um, so what I've been doing, my technique is like this. Under here, time to highlight and contour, baby. So I do it only like that, in that like shape. I don't know if you guys can really see that there. But to me, it makes such a difference in the way everything looks. Doing my nose super skinny. <laughs> I don't like to let this sit too long because it doesn't really mean to. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out. Okay, so now the reason I only put it here and there on the eye is because it, it basically gives you that shape. Like it kind of lifts the eye. It just lifts this whole area. It makes it look so nice. So that's what I do. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna blend this out with my sponge. Woo, I really look like a ghost now, baby, but it's okay. All right, so now y'all, I have a brand y'all haven't seen on my channel in a minute, okay? And it's going to be Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm gonna be using their setting powder. This is in the shade of Bonina. And I like this powder when I'm using this dose of colors. I don't know, I feel like it sets pretty, pretty, pretty well. So I'm getting a little bit of that. And I'm just gonna press under my eyes. And then pretty much everywhere I have concealer. Um, sometimes I cream contour or cream bronze, but I'm not going to today because I want you guys to see just how good these Beauty Bay <laughs> um, bronzers are because they're fire. So I didn't want to use any cream bronzer or anything like that because I wanted you guys to see just for yourselves. Y'all know I cannot stand when makeup be all over my lips like this. Girl, I hate it. So it's time for bronzer. And like I was telling you guys about Beauty Bay's new bronzers. So I'm actually gonna swatch all of them. I'm just gonna do quick swatches so you guys can see them because I just think that for Beauty Bay to be like not like huge, you know what I mean? Like they're stepping up the game. Like they have so many shades and I just think that everyone should be following suit. So I'm gonna swatch them lightest to darkest. Now, some of the lighter shades might not show up on me, um, but we're gonna do the inside of the wrist so it should go. So this first shade that I have is in the shade Donut, right here. Wow, so this is actually, I guess, my skin tone. <laughs> the next shade that I'm gonna use is Fawn. So this is Fawn, right here, it's a little bit warmer. Then we have Beach. I'm gonna swatch this one, right there. Next, I have Caramel. We're getting closer to my shades. So that's Caramel right there. Then we have Cinnamon. That's Cinnamon. Uh-oh. So this is Cinnamon right here. Then we have Chestnut. Super warm Chestnut, which is right here at the bottom. Next is Oak. I don't know why my swatches are so crooked, but don't talk about me. So that's Oak. And then last but not least is Button. And then we have Button, which is right here at the bottom. So that's all eight bronzer swatch. I hope you guys can like see just how like good the shades are. I feel like on my camera, everything looks lighter, <laughs> but trust me. So I'm going to be using a little bit of um, caramel mixed with cinnamon personally for my perfect little shade so i'm gonna go ahead and get to bronzing my face i like to use a very fluffy brush y'all know me and i'm just gonna mix the two and get to bronzing and the shades blend so well and like melt right into your skin so i'm starting off with one layer well y'all know me i'm kind of heavy-handed with my bronzer let me not even say kind of i'm very heavy-handed with my bronzer but it's because I have to be, okay? Look at my face. I gotta be heavy handed, damn. So again, I'm just gonna start with one layer so y'all can just kind of see. All right, y'all, so that's with one layer of the bronzers. We're gonna step it up because the girl needs more than one, okay? Y'all know me, I like a more extreme bronzed look personally. So I'm gonna mix my two and we're gonna get this built, honey. But that's what I like about these bronzers because they're so smooth and you can get any kind of, they're not overly pigmented, like so you can have a more natural look or you can build it if you like a more dramatic, I got punched in the cheek look. No, I'm just kidding. That's what I like, but <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But seriously, you can build them to whatever intensity it is that you like for your bronzer. And that's what I like. Oh, my nose. Oh my God, we have to do our nose. 
half the doorknobs. I'm gonna use caramel for the nose because it's more um, on the neutral side. And I'm just literally running this up and down the side of my nose. Like so. And then of course we're gonna blend this out. I'm just gonna use a quick little brush. Just so it don't look too, too crazy. Okay, so now it's time for blush. Okay, because we're nice and bronzed. I think we look good. I still look really bright on camera, but I promise, like as you see when I step back, it's the light. So like, you see when I scoot back, you see I don't look so bright anymore. I actually look. <laughs> so for blush, they also came out with eight blushes, okay? And y'all know I love me some blush. I just like cheek makeup, okay? I just like anything I can put on my cheeks, I like it. So they have eight shades. So there's so many different blush shades to choose from as well. So let's just get started. Starting with the blush number one, this is in the shade Peachy. You can't even see this on camera the way I just held it up, but this is one of my faves. I'm just gonna swatch it like this. So this is peachy, how freaking pretty. Then I have coral, another one of my faves, right there. Coral, woo girl. Coral came through, coral said, hey, how you doing? That's coral. Next I have blossom. This one has a little shimmer in it. So if you're a shimmer blush kind of girl, that's blossom, very pretty pink. Next, I have Bitten, which is a nice muted pink um, for someone who likes a more natural blush color or if you're on the paler side. I've never swatched them, I've only applied them, but this is Bitten right here, gorgeous color. Next, we have Bloom, another shimmer, well, luster, whatever kind of finish you wanna call it, but. That one is gorge. Oh, y'all, now this one, this is a, a blush. Okay, this is called Cosmo. Woo, girl. I love me one of these. Oh, my God. Lady, how you doing? I know we've been showing blushes, but that was a blush, okay? So next we have Royal. This would look beautiful on a deeper skin tone. Very pretty. When I used to be a makeup artist, this type of a color, it's almost like a burnt raisiny kind of color. That would be what I would use. It's so gorgeous. And then this last shade is called Merlot. And it's a deep, deep, deep purple. Looks like that. It's showing up a little more red on camera, but it's stunning nonetheless. So for me today, I think I'm going to mix Blossom and Peachy. It's just the mood that I am in, girl. Actually, I'm gonna mix Blossom and Coral. What, what, what I do with Coral? Where she go? So like I said, I'm mixing Blossom and Coral. I like Blossom or the shimmer, and I like Coral for the shade. <laughs> and I'm just, y'all, look at how freaking pretty. And you can build these up. Y'all know I'm a blush whore. So I love a lot of blush, personally. I'm gonna do a little bit on the nose. But I just think blush just makes you look so feminine, so youthful, so pretty when done well. Obviously, don't, okay, don't literally go overboard. I put a lot on, but like, I'm gonna blend this out, trust me. I'm gonna take a brush and just blend the edges. So everything kind of seamless a little bit more. But as you guys can see, like these cheek products just blend so seamlessly. So, so seamlessly. And we can move on to highlighters, which Beauty Bay also came out with some of them too, girl. And they got a shade for pretty much everybody, okay? So I'm gonna swatch these too. I'm gonna swatch these on the back of my hand. This first one is called Flash. Now this is for my um, bearer ladies, okay? Cause this, is like a silvery white, oh my God. Very pretty though. This next one is called Glaze, which is more, um, it's a little bit darker than that last one. It's got a little pink undertone to it, like a champagne. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference in the two. But as y'all can see, girl, look at when light hit it. Blang, blang, okay. Now this next one is the shade that I use. This is in the shade Beam. It's a nice gold, like yellow gold, pale gold. Right there, so pretty. 
And then the next one is called Trophy. It's more of like a bronzy gold. Definitely for someone with a little bit of a deeper complexion. I'm gonna put this right here. Kind of shows up more like orangey bronze on me. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. Right there. So pretty, pretty. So like I said, I'm gonna be using Beam. I'm just gonna take my little brush. I'm popping it right there on the tops of my cheeks. Ooh, child. Let me get my little blush brush and mesh the two. So it's all seamless. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the eyes just by running that darker shade underneath my eye. And you guys know I never, ever, wow, I have freaking blush and stuff all over my white t-shirt. So I'm gonna take that darker brown that we use and just run it under my eyes, even though I like never do this. And I'm gonna do my little inner corner flicks just to set it off with some mascara. All right, y'all, so we're pretty much almost done. Oh, I also took my eyeliner like all in my inner, like my waterline, which I never do, but I did it maybe like a week or two ago and y'all loved it. So I was like, hmm, let me do it again. So now I'm gonna line my lips with this Dose of Colors lip liner. I think I'm gonna use Undress. Oh, excuse me, girl. I think I'm gonna use this one in Undress. <laughs> Let's see, I might be a little light, so I don't know yet. Yeah, it's just a little light. Let me save it, hold on. Let me see, I have another one that's a little more, it's got a little more pink in it. This one is an escape. There we go, now I've got a lot of color. Okay, and then I'm not gonna do any lipstick today. Just go straight in with the lip gloss. The lip gloss that I'm using is from Beauty Bay. Their actual makeup line, this is in the shade Ballet. Y'all know I love a nice nude lip gloss like this. This lip gloss smells so good. Okay. Ooh, honey. The face, oh, she is sitting. Wait, let me take my clips out. I need to go wash my arms, all these swatches. If my lace was laid, girl, I would look so fire right now, but it's not. It looks a lot better in person than it does on camera, I promise. Camera just be showing y'all everything. Okay, so I'm gonna go get dressed and come back and we'll close out the video. All right, you guys, so this is it for this look. So you get the final. Mm -hmm. I went ahead and put my dress and stuff on. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, oh my God, I think I'm gonna sneeze. Ah! Of course, don't forget to check out the stars of the show, the bronzers, the blushes, the highlighters. Shout out to Beauty Bay for sponsoring us. We love that. Everything is gonna be linked down below. Every single product I used in this video for this look will be linked down below. But definitely make sure you guys check out these bronzers, blushes, and highlighters. And they're affordable. I don't know if I mentioned that, but they're affordable, bro. They have real good, reasonable price. Just saying. I'm just saying. Make sure you guys check out Beauty Bay. I will have all the links and everything you need to know down below in the description bar. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. And if you're wanting to know what I wore to dinner tonight, then make sure you watch Sunday's vlog and you'll see. All right, guys. I love you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.